churchmilitant.tv would like to extend to you an invitation to participate in the first annual Bishop Fulton Sheen Gala being held on April the 5th. And get this, the dinner is both real and virtual. For those not able to attend in person, we will be live streaming the dinner. Now, if you're asking yourself, how can I go to a dinner over the internet, then just click on the attached link. Please make it a point to check it out. It will be the first ever of its kind in the world, all in honor of Bishop Fulton Sheen and in an effort to bring Christ to the internet. Just click on the link. God love you. Hello, I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Here are your latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. We are honored to announce we have a Pope. Cardinal Jorge Bergoglio from Argentina, who has taken the name Pope Francis I. Please stay tuned to churchmilitant.tv for an upcoming special report on our newly elected Pope. This morning, the Archdiocese of Los Angeles has agreed to pay nearly $10 million to four men who say they were abused by a former priest. This is the first payment since an internal archdiocesan file containing 12,000 pages of records about abuse were released this past January. A small Catholic school in Massachusetts pulled out of a St. Patrick's Day parade held this past Sunday because of their assigned sponsor was a pro-abortion, pro-homosexual marriage politician. A brother with the school said that it's good to be charitable, kind, and generous to those who support abortion and same-sex marriage but also said that you cannot compromise the principles for which you live and stand. A new Irish bill seeks to prevent homosexual employees in education or medical institutions from being fired for undermining its religious principles. The bill will be proposed today in Ireland Senate. Last week it was confirmed that Emory University in Atlanta will be removing Chick-fil-A, a supporter of traditional marriage, from its food court, possibly due to protests by the university's homosexual community. While a university representative claims that the restaurant is not being removed for its beliefs, the university's gay and lesbian community have vehemently protested the restaurant's presence after CEO Dan Cathy's comments last year about same-sex marriage. I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Rebecca Hasenauer. Those are your headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Make sure you check out today's Vortex, where Michael talks about the Pope of the world. Thanks for tuning in today. Spread the word about us to your friends. And may God bless you. Sick of TV and its cultural rot? Tune in to churchmilitant.tv and become a premium subscriber where you will get access to fresh shows with solid church doctrine. As a premium subscriber, you'll get hundreds of hours of programming, which includes investigative shows, catechesis, apologetics, church history lessons, and a lot more. What are you waiting for? Forget the bad television and dive into the riches of the Catholic faith for only $10 a month.